everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I just finished recording the basement seed. It was silly. I had a silly time. Um, that's what the continue would be, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, we need a Maggie lamb kill. Down to business. And we need an Eve lamb kill. That's it? Let's start with Maggie. Let's knock these out today. I got a long day of work ahead of me. Let's get these handled. Tomo, not now, please. First seed. K. K. T. One. Write that down clearly. Zero. Three. K. Six. What's the matter? Couldn't it be K9? Tomo, I'm writing. This is what people do, or used to do, before the advent of computers. They would, um, use their hands and an instrument known as a pen. Ugh. In order to, uh, write down, like, computer, uh, information. Not computer information, relevant information. And if anyone ever asks you to join the Pen15 Club, buddy, you say no, okay? You say no. So I had the choice between taking the pills and taking Yum Hard. I think I've gone on record multiple times now saying, like, I, I, I have an unreasonable vendetta against the pills. But I really do think that they suck. And are boring. So I am not going to use them. I would rather, and I think, you know, if you watch runs like, you know, Cursed Eye plus Bob's Brain plus Big Beautiful Fly, um, you'll realize pretty quickly that I have a tendency in, uh, in Rebirth, in Isaac in general, and in all games, to favor absurdity over, um, survival, if that makes sense. So, um, I, w I would much rather take an item that was silly, but also kind of fun, over an item, um, like the pills. I would probably take pills over, like, Anarchist Cookbook or something, you know, even, every man has his limits, be reasonable, but... That being said, Anarchist Cooper was actually the star of the show for us on that basement seed, sort of, if there was a star beyond just the overall general absurdity of the whole thing, you know? Now, as I am wont to do, let's take a second here, I think I need to, yeah, raise the music by one, then lower it once we get to the chest, even though it, uh, has an impact on the overall gravitas. The gravitas. Now, oh, right, I forgot about that little to do there. I'm happy to have more keys. I've got to, like, this is like when uh, you go down to fucking 20,000 leagues under the sea and you uh, need to, like, depressurize slowly when you come back up, otherwise you're gonna get the bends. After that basement run, I've got to remember. Oh, right, I don't have invincibility automatically when I walk into every single room, and when I touch an enemy, it doesn't explode into 40 cents and give me a spirit heart. So, let's just, um, you know, take it very slowly here. I'm very glad we're not fighting the haunts, because we only have one bomb, and that, uh, that would probably mean that we'd take some damage. Not that Pin is uh, an easy boss here on the cellar. Pin is actually one of those bosses who I believe uh, has been buffed the most. Definitely one of the bosses who's been buffed the most early on. Apart from that, I can't really think of too many bosses who have been buffed. Um, Monstro oh, Skolex is the other one. But um, Monstro 2 is a little bit less easy to cheese, but it's still not a difficult boss. Everybody else, I think, is, has stayed roughly the same. Maybe Larry Jr. with like the addition of Larry Sr. in there. I don't know, though. A pin can no longer hurt itself, and it seems to have a little bit more HP. Uh, and, like, one bomb no longer destroys it. So it's actually a, a much, much trickier boss fight. If I'm honest with you, I kind of prefer old pin. It took me, like, uh, if anyone ever tells you to join the pin 15 club, you say no. Oh, well, that's what I get for saying I don't like the coin purse. But I kind of like the ability to just destroy old pin in one hit. And, of course, many people are going to say, of course you did. Ugh. Ugh. Speed up, please. Ah, that's fine. We got a health upgrade there. That's about it, but still. We know that we've got some okay pills in our rotation, but yeah, I kind of like the idea that you could kill him in one bomb, because it wasn't just like, put a bomb down, you win. It was more like, it was a little trickier. Look, it wasn't rocket science, all right? I'll, I'll give you that. But at the same time, it wasn't just an automatic thing. It took me like, a, well, it took me a long time before I started using that technique. Because if you only have one bomb, it's, it's an easy way to lose it if you time it even like, you know, a quarter of a second in, off in either direction. Anyway, I'm hoping we get a good tarot card here. Maybe like a Joker or something? I know that's like asking for a lot this early on, but I'm really starting to, to feel under the pressure of not having that much damage. And it's it's too early to say that, and that was like the easiest way to lose a deal with the devil. Very smart. But we got the devil, so maybe the game is a little bit of a sense of humor. I'm really hoping for a good item room as well. You're all, like this is just boilerplate fucking commentary 101 stuff. You're always hoping for a good item. You're always hoping for a deal with the devil. That being said, disproportionately more hope for me uh, right now. First off, because I'm the one saying it. You want to try this? I think we'll try this. Wow. One cent, three spiders. 
Not a very good trade, I'd say. Um, but uh, because our damage is shitty right now. I mean, it always is when you get started, but it's like really, really shitty. Sometimes you get super lucky and you get like 2020 on the first floor or something like that. And then, you know, you're no longer qualified to talk about, uh, or you're no, you're no longer qualified to complain at all. But uh, on this run, we're qualified to complain still. Although, you know, this has nullified uh, our earlier concern. What have we had downgrades in? Speed and range. This is a speed plus range upgrade, and if I could come up with one unintended good consequence of the fact that we just got this um, Roid Rage or whatever one it is. I don't look at the syringes except for the color of them. Um, it sounds terribly racist if you were to apply that logic to almost anything else in the world. But anyway, um, we uh, the, the unintended good consequence of it is that we just won't have to uh, get this item from a boss. So, sure, maybe it's not the best item in the game, but the fact that we're not gonna have to pick it up ever again is, I guess, good. That's like, that's how you know I'm a bullshit artist sometimes. When I'm like, you know what's the, the best thing about this bad thing is? Is that it can't happen again. <laughs> well, you can't get to two appendectomies. <laughs> You can only get in a fatal car accident once, right? Like, I'm I'm full of shit, basically, is what I'm trying to get at here. Okay, let's fight our boss, and of course it is the haunt this time. We'll use the devil card. Normally I'd like to save it for a little bit later, but this is this is as rainy of a day as you get in, in Rebirth this early. Now we still do have a decent chance of getting a deal with the devil. Oh, now we're blowing it. How do we do it? Uh, we gotta... Be incredibly smart with our dodging. The thing I don't like about the haunt boss fight is that you, you're in harm's way. Good, good, good. And there's no way to really reliably... St oh, fuck. There's no way to really reliably stay out of harm's way. Jesus Juice is fine, though. Um, like, you have to cross over... And what is wrong with me? You have to cross over with Jordan Edwards. John Edwards. Crossing over with... Crossing Jordan is the TV show I'm trying to think of there. Um, you, you have to cross over and you're, you're gonna have a risk to take damage. Especially because the brimstone shot comes out almost, almost instantaneously. Maybe you could make do with a speed upgrade or something like that, but the haunt is... Um, look, he's a hard boss. He's harder than uh, Gurglings. Unless you have bombs, in which case you could eh, maybe make the case. I don't know. Anyway, down to the next floor. I, I can't be too salty, honestly, about, um, about how it's going so far. We've had an HP and a damage upgrade. That's not that incredible, but uh, it, it, it also means we're not too far behind the eight ball, you know? We're not too far away from being able to sneak out some kind of uh, some kind of good stuff here. Flush, I'll take it. Uh, Flush is basically a Necronomicon. You can use once every uh, six rooms, which is the Necronomicon as well, uh, but it gives you poop, you know? Basically, this is an, an item that uh, I'm gonna take instead of Yumheart because it's got offensive potential, and I'll use it to clear big rooms. The way I kind of look at items like Necronomicon and, um, you know, a Death Card or Flush, for example, is uh, basically this is a big room clearer. If I find a big room, I'll save Flush, I use Flush on it, and then that saves me probably not only some time, but some damage and some frustration as well, because big rooms have a tendency to be real freaking annoying. I don't believe that Flush really gives you anything from bosses, um, which makes it a little bit of a, a novelty in that unlike, like, every other spacebar item in the game, there's pretty much no point to saving it exclusively for bosses. There are other spacebar... I mean, death is a card you don't really want to use against bosses for the most part, unless you're fighting, like, Husk or something like that, but... Um, I think Flush is kind of even more unique in that aspect. And if we could just get, like, um... If we could get Petrified Poop, I think Flush could theoretically become, like, one of the coolest synergies in the game that I've seen to this point, but, uh... Mostly just to give us, like, an awful lot of money. I can't believe neither of these guys are dead. I was gonna say, they both gotta be one hit away. More keys is good, but... Um, and of course, you know the other thing with Flush that you need to know, or should probably be able to divine for yourselves in case you uh, are thinking critically out there, is that it really uh, incentivizes picking up items like 9-volt uh, Nun's Habit and Battery because it does give us uh, some of the longest charge times in the game. Gotta be real with you right now, I'm not loving our... Our lack of damage. Anytime you get actually stuck in the labyrinth of these silkworms, uh, that's a good indicator that you're probably not doing as much damage as you'd like to be by this point of the game. You know, we've, we've actually got to use our wits to get around them, not just a couple of fingers. That is not really how I would um, how I would say that expression in the future if I was talking to my parents. Now, 
pop up, please. Thank you. The keys are out of control. Keys open doors, but unfortunately, there's not much point in paying cover to get into a nightclub if you don't have enough money to buy drinks. If you got an ugly mug like me, anyway. Now, I got... It's a little too early in the morning for me to get Tom Waitsy yet. Or not late enough at night for me to get Tom Waitsy yet. Um, next room is a big room. So we should be able to get, like, even if we don't get a chain reaction here, we should be able to get out of this room without taking damage. And then we'll use flush on our slightly larger room, and hopefully that'll just give us a bunch of poop. I may or may not shoot. Oh, it totally works on those guys, too. That's kind of nice. I, I was not necessarily... Excuse me. I was not necessarily expecting that, uh... This poop doesn't deal with, like, the poop animation effects. That's weird. I don't like this room. Um, but yeah, you know, we're we're in an okay position, but really, it's our, uh, it's our boss room, item room, and deal with the devil potential here that hold the power for us. If we get very, very lucky with any of those, it could be great. I'm trying to look around, maybe get a spirit heart before we fight our boss. Or at least more damage, you know, more, more killing power. Seriously. Maybe a diagonal shot I can sneak in there. There we go. The key game is out of control, but I don't, you know, you need more than keys. Revenge Fly, or Best Bud, I should say, is, is okay. But it only does damage if you take damage, and this is like the exact opposite of the leverage I need right now. I need, well, I, I kind of want to at least get some bombs before we fight our boss. I don't think that's ridiculous. Um, I need, uh... I need the ability to not take damage, but still deal damage in the meantime. Like, we might have cost ourselves a slight deal with the Devil Chance there, but I'm willing to bet that we, uh, we're mostly just gonna try to... Let me put it this way. I feel like if we can beat the boss, uh, without taking damage, then we'll get a deal with the Devil. That's not always the case, but I feel like it is. Right now. Let's do it. Let's give it a try. I know I'm not shooting all the poop either, there's a lot of it. We're fighting Peep. Peep's a, he's a pain in the ass. I'm gonna try not to use a bomb, though. Keeps only a pain in the ass if you're doing no damage, and we're pretty much doing no damage. But this is an incredibly important floor for us. Um, this is the floor where, um, you know, our, our momentum either starts or it never gets started. This is a slippery fucking hill, you know? If the, if the, the, the tires don't catch, we're just gonna backslide all the way back into our fucking driveway or something. You gotta forgive me, it's, it, it's Canada in the winter, the, the driving in the snow analogies are gonna come fast and furious. I've, which is, by the way, the exact opposite of how you should drive in the snow. But anyway, I, I live in Vancouver now, and I don't drive, so it's not really as relevant a concern for me. But, uh, you know, I, I can drive, and I have driven, and I haven't always lived in Vancouver. People think Vancouver is like, uh, you know, it's like the rest of Canadian cities. And it is, in one way, it's in Canada. But here's a little piece of information, you know, it's like the same stereotype that, like, everywhere in Russia is frigid and, and suffers from you know, debilitating winters that make it impossible to do anything. Uh, that is, um, that, that's not true, and nor is that true for Canada. In at least one city. In Vancouver, it snows like, once, uh, probably like three times a year. A handful of times a year. Rarely stays on the ground for like, more than, uh, more than a few hours. I'm just focusing here. Trying to, you know, you know, you want to have like, uh, if your wife's going into labor or something, not that I would know, uh, you want to have like a conversation, take their mind off it? That's how I'm feeling about this peep fight. It's going very well, and we did it, and we should get a deal with the devil. Oh, you cock muncher. Alright, well, at least we got HP. Shit. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I was trying to distract myself there, and it, it sort of worked. We had a great fight. I can take pride in that. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not surprised. We are going to have an Eternal Heart here, though. Not an Eternal Heart, sorry. A Tinted Rock. Those are barely even equitable. I'll open this. Okay. Uh, we'll just use our Smarty Fly here, whatever it's called, to do this. We could also just shoot the TNT. Yeah, that's a lot easier. It only takes, like, three hits. There's no reason this room should be taking me as long as it is. Alright, well, at least Flush is back. I'm so tempted to use it on this room, but we really should save it for big rooms. But I really, really don't want to take red heart damage. But I probably will, right? I don't want to resign myself to that fate, but it, it is looking likely that that's going to be the case. But let's, let's stay positive for now. If you can shoot down here, this would be awesome. They're not going to be able to make this shot. 
I'd say the Catacombs 2 is roughly uh, roughly the breaking point. At least we'll be able to get a consumable there if one spawns there and we needed it, which we don't. But anyway, um, ugh. the Catacombs is pretty much our breaking point for how far we can get with relatively default damage. Okay, we've had Jesus Juice. That's not going to be enough to scale us, you know, into the, the late game or even close to it. I'm going to use it here, even though it's not a big room. I was going to take damage. Ten extra bombs, sure. That's not what we need, um, but it's it's a start. Maybe. I am trapped in hell here. You know what? Let's use one of our bombs. Easily, easily could have taken damage there. Um, yeah, like if I don't get some kind of big or at least reasonably okay damage improver here, our run is going to go south fast, I think. And it would be a nice change of pace, dare I say it, it would be a nice change of pace uh, to have a run that kind of sucked the big one after we've had a lot of really powerful ones. I always relish the opportunity to... Uh, you know, put together a really good run uh, out of a run that should, you know, basically has no business being good. So let's see if we can maybe get super lucky on our boss fight here and make that happen. Like, we can't even kill a bomb fly in one barrage. Which is, uh, I wouldn't say it's embarrassing, but it's, it's not where you want to be. That was good. All we need to do is get a little lucky. Don't get hit on the boss room. We got 16 bombs, so we're in a really good position to to bomb the boss if it's a boss that that's suitable for. If we could just fight the husk or something like that, and um, then maybe we get to deal with the devil, and the boss item is some kind of tears upgrade or a damage upgrade. So I'm a little mad. Um, genuinely. <laughs> I don't want to scare you, you know, but... That it's not really the time when I wanted the I am error room. Pill, maybe? Teleport out? No. So I'm going to stick with Guppy's head. As much as I kind of like Flush, I'm going to stick with Guppy's head. At least we went to the item room on that floor, but man, that's so shitty that we got I am error there. I think, I can't help but feel that maybe somebody doesn't want me to win. But we've taken one of the items that can give us an out. You know, if we can become Guppy, uh, all, all can be forgiven in time. And it doesn't really take much in addition to Guppy to get a win. Some might argue it doesn't take anything in addition to Guppy to get a win because it carries so much uh, by itself, but we'll see. This is um, is definitely problematic. I think, you know, I've got to work on my my pill discipline a little bit. I, I pretty much take pills as soon as I get them unless there's a risk of fucking up a deal with the devil with like a bad trip pill or something like that. Um, but I, I really should stop taking pills willy-nilly because the telepills I am error combination, it's old hat, man. Maybe the first time it happens to you, you can be like, oh, that's fucking bullshit. But after that, you know, it's it, it's happened to everybody once, right? Like, I can't even feign any kind of, like, ignorance of it. So we'll try to find some tarot cards here. Maybe some, uh, well, sure, turrets, yes. Um, but mostly tarot cards and, and black hearts are what I was looking for. I think we did okay. You know, two bombs for a devil card when we have a surplus of bombs is not terrible. And there will be, uh, I'm sure there will be a lot of commenting about whether or not it was better to take Flush or Guppy's Head. I really do like Guppy's Head as an item. I like getting into the routine of using it once per room. Usually destroys an enemy for you or gives you a little bit of a bonus and scales really well with damage and charges very quickly. This is why I like Guppy's Head. I'm not totally sold on the fact that Guppy's Head is, um, is better than Flush. But I do think, um, I, I feel safer with Guppy's Head than I do with Flush. And just in, like, a sheer, like, kind of utilitarian standpoint, it's more useful on more rooms. I'm not not very pleased with that at all. I'll just tell you that straight up. A lot of our uh, our problems on this run have been caused by me. I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll readily admit that. What do you think? You want to try it? That is so not worth it. Uh... What's better, jump button or Guppy's head? Shit, dude, now we're getting into some uncharted territory here. Uh, without the ability to fly, jump button is like, all right, but you know what, why don't we just, um, we can have it both ways, as long as we're willing to put in a little extra leg work. Let's take Tammy's head, or Guppy's head, sorry, and we'll um, use this, and then whenever there's a consumable that we can't get, then we will, thank God for that black heart. Two of clubs. Yeah, we'll use it right away. Um, whenever there's a uh, consumable we can't get, that's when we'll use uh, how to jump. 
Ah, uh, uh, Joker, Joker. Ah, two of clubs again. Hey, now we're up to 54 bombs. You got like half a pyro going on here. And I can definitely, you know, we've doubled down twice now. I can definitely afford to use more bombs to do stuff like this. And maybe get even more bombs out of it. Or more anything, really, at this point. Two of spades. Yeah, let's double it. Now our keys are in a fine situation. Little brimstone. This is our first big ticket item. This is a good one. Uh, it, our damage is not incredible. <laughs> but it, it's a start now. And you know what? Instead of going to our shop right away, I will play this guy. Make it work for me. Come on. This is our deal with the devil uh, swing here. It's mystery sack. Mostly just happy that we still have enough money to make... Uh... Yeah, great damage there. You know what? Let's go back to full health. Mostly just happy that we still have enough money to make um, our shop work for us. Even if it is greed, I'll be fine with that. Uh, sure, let's make our flies better thanks to uh, Hive Mind. Can donate some more as well if we wanted to. But I'm starting to feel like we're putting something together here. It's relatively modest, you know? Like, Little Brimstone is not a game winner, but as I've said, it can carry you through to Mom, at least. And this should be a very good chance of getting a deal with the Devil here. The best chance we've had. Oh my god, and it's the fucking adversary. Fuck this dude's shit forever. I hate you. I don't know how we avoid um, his Brimstone attack. I don't know if there's a way to bait it or something. I, pretty much my only strategy thus far has been, like, keep moving. Trying to, like, get some bombs. There we go. Okay. Had to happen at some point. Yep, there we go. There goes our deal with the devil chance. Talk about, like, okay. A lot of the problems on this run I do owe to myself. I'll admit that readily. At the same time, with the dope rhymes that I kick, you know and I know I float some old funky shit. We've still been to our item room. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna go. Um, this, this floor is still pretty good, but you gotta admit, by getting the haunt and, um, and now adversary in important situations, we have kind of found ourselves a bit more behind the eight ball than you might expect. A bit tougher, uh, room generation than normal. Sure, we could take Necronomicon or Anarchist Cookbook. I don't think either of them are particularly good. I didn't even mention it, but I'm so stoked to have gotten the pentagram from that, uh, curse room. That's a, that's crazy good luck for us. Getting little brimstone for free, and then the pentagram for a curse room is unbelievably good luck, and I would be... I, we gotta go pick that up. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that, uh... that really, those are gonna be the saviors of our run if we ever pull ourselves out of this hole and get to get a, a deal with the devil or something like that. Which could happen on this floor. Do we still need boss rushes, Maggie? I don't think we know. We've unlocked Maggie's bow. Okay. So I think the, the mom fight is no longer, like, the, uh, perhaps insurmountable force that it appeared to be earlier. However, we're still not in a fantastic position. We're going to need some kind of uh, improvements to be done before that's going to be... Uh, well, before the, the lamb is going to seem likely. And I do have to remind myself, now that we've uh, kind of taken ourselves out of the first step of existential hell, what's the most important thing? You're taking the negative. If you're going to... Ooh, Samson's lock is okay. If you're going to kill uh, mom, do not stand near the bottom of the floor while you do it. I still think that's something I would like them to maybe patch. Make it so that, you know, it's a little harder to accidentally take the wrong uh, picture. Come on. There's one. There's two. That should be the last one there. Now, with 50 bombs, I really should be looking out for all of these skulls. But let's see what this one gave me. Justice, that's pretty good. Let's blow this one up. This one. That's fine. Absolutely fine. And you know what? I mean, it's it's probably a little obvious, but our easiest out here might be Guppy. If we could fly, we could blow up four skulls per bomb, which would actually be an amazing probable payout. I'm trying to avoid uh, the, the batteries for now, because there's just no point. Like, with Guppy's head, we don't need nine flies per room. I mean, we could do it, but what's the point, right? I'd much rather, um, you know, see if maybe we get a crystal ball somehow or something like that. Something that benefits from those batteries and then use it for that. And then take Guppy's head with us in the future. But yeah, it, it might go without saying, but our easiest out is probably Guppy. If we pick up just two of, like, four remaining items in the pool, we'll, uh, we'll sort out our damage needs, we'll be able to fly, and um, all that good stuff. I think these are still worth bombs, honestly. Okay. There's our shop. Not the room on this floor I was most looking forward to, given our financial situation, but 
acceptable. Something that could help us out here. Not greed. Boomerang steam sail battery. Um, I'm gonna save our money. Actually, you know, I'll give I'll give it to the donation machine. We have a surplus. We might as well. It broke. We have one cent left. Two cents left. That just kind of adds insult to injury. Hmm. That is our secret room. Oh, okay. Well, this could be good. I mean, I could buy the boomerang if I got enough money. It's probably better than Guppy's head. I do like Guppy's head, though. It's given us more damage than I think a lot of people will give it credit for. I don't know what the honeymoon has been. Like, would the reason for the honeymoon with the... Uh... Oh, this is a great room for our skull cracking abilities. Um, but I don't know why I've been a little bit more into Guppy's head lately than I have in vanilla. But hey, don't hate the player, hate the game, right? I still don't really know what that expression means. Well, you know what? Let's let's not do Northern Lions, you know, learning of lingo for once. I don't really care if we get hit by these anymore. Luck up. Yeah, sign me up. That nickel, it takes us closer. I think we get four here, maybe? No, nah, five. Devil card's pretty good. I wonder if we can get all six here. If we place this right. Well, we did. Might not, uh, might regret that a little bit. And we only got one left. We take chariot or devil? I mean, they're both okay. I think we'll take the devil card, though. Okay, all right, I, I'm into this. Punching bag is fine. And we're done with this floor, yeah. All right, uh, it's interesting. I'm still banking on this deal with the devil showing up at some point, but we gotta kinda give up the ghost on that one if it doesn't show up here or on the next floor. So we have a brief window of possible survival or success with respect to that. Apart from that, um, this is it. This is what we're gonna have. Maybe we get three cents here, we can buy a boomerang. I mean, we can. The question is, do I even wanna buy a boomerang? I don't think I do. I think I'm happy with Guppy's head. Let's do this. I'm not going to use the Devil card here. I think it's actually better used in the future. That was not very good on my part. Now remember, what's the most important thing? Even if this run's not looking great, you got to get the negative. Not the Polaroid. There's our red heart damage. Fuck our deal with the Devil chance. Can still get lucky. Taking the negative. The negative. Not taking... The Polaroid. At the end of the fight, get the fuck away from the bottom of the screen because you're going to be taking the negative. You don't want to be there. You want to have a chance to make a choice. You're taking a lot of damage here. Not loving that. Now get away from the screen. The top of this, or the, the bottom of the screen. Because you're close to finishing the fight. There you go. That should do it. Taking the negative. Boom, it's done. Okay, now we can head down to the next floor. I don't really like our uh, our odds of getting out of this one, uh, you know, intact. Curse of the Lost sucks pretty hard too, but... It's possible. It is. This is the least powerful... It's the least powerful run we've had in a long time. But it wouldn't take more than a... Uh, a Brimstone or Mom's Knife or Guppy collection here to... Uh, to take us into the next, uh, the next echelon, you know, of where we'd actually be able to survive. You know, it's kind of like the Backstreet Boys Millennium album. As a whole, that album in this run, not that strong. But it really only took a couple standouts like Larger Than Life and I Want It That Way to, to make it one of the best-selling albums of the 90s, or early 2000s. And I think we could have one of the best-selling runs of the 90s and early 2000s here, is what I'm trying to say. If we could just pick up maybe one more great item. Those rooms... Oh, come on. I've become better at those rooms, is what I was going to say. Then I ended up eating shit. But I, I do mean that sincerely. Um, these rooms are not so bad once you know what you're getting into and react quickly. Like, it's one of the few rooms in... Uh, in Rebirth, where a quick reaction is actually better than taking a second to kind of survey it. A lot of the times, you'll end up walking on spikes like an idiot, like me. But on those rooms, if you move quickly and you kind of commit, you can usually get out of the path. Or sometimes, the, the, the trick is you actually just don't move at all. I got lucky with some knockback there. Alright. 
Don't give me any HP. That would be, like, too uh, easy for me, obviously. And I just... I hope that if we have to end this run here, it's not Mr. Fred. He's so easy, but he's fucked me so many times. Skolex. You know what? I'm gonna use the Devil card here. Normally, this would be ill-advised. Because, um... Skolex is not... You know, he's not Isaac. He's not Blue Baby. He's not an endgame boss. But I really, really want to give myself the maximum chance of getting out of this fight without taking Red Heart damage. And this is what's going to do it. Okay, this is a good moment for us here. We did it, and we did get a deal with the Devil. And we got a Tears upgrade. Please don't be three Red Chests unless there's Guppy items. Okay, um, let's see what's in the Red Chest. Health up, that's awesome. That's a free Guppy's Collar. And luck up. So I'm going to hedge my bets. I'm going to take Guppy's Collar. For the Guppy potential. And I'm going to take the ability to fly. In case we don't get Guppy. I feel okay about this. It takes us a step closer to becoming Guppy. I think it's... The fact that we didn't get it there. Makes it much more unlikely that we will become Guppy in the future. That being said. We have a chance, basically. So I'm, I'm excited about this. If nothing else, uh, Spirit of the Night is a big pickup for us. We don't have PhD, but we're getting pretty good pills. And we did get a Tears and uh, a Shot Speed upgrade, right? From Torn Photo. Isn't that an evil upgrade, too? I can never remember. I mean, we don't have a black card, which is why I'm thinking no, but I really thought it was. More Wall Masters? Yeah. I was going to say, you can never... It's like a Lay's potato chip. Bet you can't have just one. Moving on. Thank you, Frito-Lay Corporation, for sponsoring this video. You know, I'll say it. I think Lay's potato chips, walkers as they're known in the United Kingdom, and perhaps worldwide, beyond Canada and the United States, they're all right. I like, uh, I like, um, you know, like a Lay's dill pickle, you know, or a Lay's barbecue. Those are some decent potato chips, a walkers barbecue. But when it comes to the potato chip meta, of which you know I am a, a very staunch uh, advocate of, uh, you know, tier lists and stuff like that, I gotta give it to Miss Vicky's. It's Canadian kettle cooked brand. Kettle cooked, like the the brand kettle, is good as well. But Miss Vicky's, you know, they're the original sea salt and malt vinegar. I gotta give them a little bit of love for that. And then I'm talking ridged chips, ruffles, all dressed. Don't give me that sour cream and onion shit. It makes me feel weird in the stomach after eating too many of them. I think they might use, like, real... That cream is real sour. Um, but the all-dressed... I don't know what's in I don't even know what the fuck all-dressed even means. I just know that's how I prefer to, like, uh, meet people. Like, we can all be dressed, please. We took the negative, so we're not going to the cathedral. Down. Thank you. Mom's heart fight relatively easy. If we can get through Satan, who knows we get on the dark room, you know? There's red chests. Four red chests gives us a guppy chance. That's always been my motto. But then you gotta, like, the reason I don't like getting into potato chip meta is because potato chips are like pizza or like, you know, consensual sexual intercourse. Even if they're bad, they're pretty good for the most part, right? It, it gets too complicated. I don't want to throw any potato chip under the bus. There's not really a potato chip I don't like. Ketchup chips, I can even get down with those. They're Canadianism. A little weird. I wouldn't disagree with you there. Um... Not my favorite, but I could I can get down with them if the time's right. Then you know, people start asking you all sorts of bullshit. How do you feel about Doritos? I'm for them. The best Dorito flavor, though? Sweet Chili Heat. I think they discontinued it in the United States. What are you thinking? I see the Sweet Chili Heat's all over the place. It's got a, a slow burn. A little bit of a deep, deep cayenne taste. It's delicious. How do you feel about Fritos? I'm for them. What about uh, pretzels? Okay, what about fucking, you know, pancakes? Are we still... How far do we go with the potato chip meta? Are, 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 is there even a potato chip category? Does it all just fall under salty snacks? I don't know. Where's the birth certificate, Miss Vicky? That's about the, the level of discourse we're getting into right now. Not to bring politics into it. But fuck to bring politics into it. How do I feel about this run right now to get things back on, to on topic? Um, that's a fucking great question. Thanks for asking it. Now I feel inadequate. Um, no, sincerely, we're underpowered. But we're not underpowered to the point that we're totally screwed. That was really dumb. I should have been able to avoid that. Um, but we're, we're, we're certainly not like a 50-50 chance to win. We need to get carried in one way or the other. 
The easiest way at this point is definitely a guppy pickup. Oh, Jesus, pop up, please. Oh my god, thank you. Um, yeah, like a, a guppy pickup would save our run, basically. Apart from that, the most likely, uh... That was... You can't have hesitation like that. Oh, that was real bad. Um, the most likely win condition for us... Oh, snap. Most likely win condition for us... Shouldn't have stood there. Is... Well, we're gonna die right here. Maybe Guppy's Collar will bring us back. Not that we should be relying on a 1 HP Guppy's Collar to carry us, but anyway. Um, if we make it through this, that's our next best chance. We get chess on, we get red chess on dark room. If those red chests give me the ability to get a guppy item, we could be saved. If they don't, we got, oh, we got some real problems. I don't really want to be on the same side as this motherfucker. Like this, um, oh, that might be it. It is. That's my own fault there, uh, but hey, we lost one for the first time in a little while. We'll be back to play a run as, um, uh, Eve, I think, next. Headed down to, uh, the negative area, the dark room, hopefully. Thanks for watching, in spite of my ineptitude. Blew it with a couple of those deal with the devil chances, I think, and then had a couple bad dice rolls, a couple good ones, but not quite the balance necessary to keep us in the game. But thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button, it helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, but for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.